boys and girls, I'm excited to see you again today. I hope you're having a really nice day. I hope you ate something yummy for breakfast or something that tastes really good for lunch. You know, good food can make us all really happy. Oh my goodness, there goes that wild hair again. What's a mom to do? Do you know that Miss Bridget has two kids of her own? So just like you're at home right now and you have a mom and you have a dad, or maybe you just live with your dad or with your mom, Miss Bridget knows what it's like to be a mom and it's one of the most fun things I've ever done. I bet you love your mom. I bet you love your dad. I'm excited to talk with you today about a very new animal. Are you ready? Get ready for Army Armadillo. Ar Arby, I'm sorry, Arby Armadillo. Now this is the A that says ah. A says ah. A says ah. Every letter makes a sound and A says ah. So when you see the dot or the black point over the top of the small lowercase letter or the capital big letter, you know right away it's the A that says ah. A says ah. A says ah. Every letter makes a sound and A says Ah, very good. Let's not waste any time. Let's talk about the words, some of the words that have this very special sound inside of them. Are you ready? Let's do it. First, Miss Bridget will say them to you. The first one is harp. Miss Bridget doesn't have a real harp here with her, but some of you have seen a person play a harp and it's a very beautiful, soft instrument. There are not many harp players in the world, but the word harp has the ah sound, like an arby armadillo. Very, very good. The next word I wanna teach you is jar, like a glass jar. I think you might have a glass jar or two in your house. Maybe in the kitchen, you have a glass jar with a special lid. Jar. When I say jar, I hear the ah sound like arby armadillo. Very good. Let Miss Bridget look for another one. Arm. We all have an arm. Here's mine. I have a left arm and I have a right arm. Well, when I say the word arm, I hear the ah sound like army Arby, Arby, Arby Armadillo, ah. So remember boys and girls, A says ah, A says ah. Every letter makes a sound and A says ah. Now, Miss Bridget wants to find one more word that has the ah sound. The last word I wanna give you, or the last, yeah, the last word I wanna give you is arc like Noah's Ark. Wait a minute, how many of you know the story about Noah and his Ark? How God, as mighty as he is, rescued Noah and his sons, his wife, and all of his sons' wives. They got onto a big boat together and God saved them because they were willing to listen to what he had to say. And God will save us too. He'll help us too, if we're willing to listen to what he has to say. Well, the word I want you to remember is this word. Are you ready, boys and girls? Say the letters with me. A, R, K. Remember, when I see the black dot on top, the point on top, it's the A that says, ah, like Arby Armadillo. Ark, ark, just like Noah's ark. Let's do another one together. Let's do harp. H, A, R, P. Harp, harp, like the musical instrument we just talked about. You guys are remembering these things. And finally, there's the letter J. A, R. Remember, when I see the letter A and it has the dark point over the top, it's the A that says, ah, like, like, Arby Armadillo, today's animal. Let's read a little bit about the armadillo. You know, where I live in Costa Rica, there are armadillos. I never knew that. I thought armadillos just lived like 
in the southwestern part of the United States of America, in the state of Texas, or something like that. But I've recently discovered that armadillos also live in Costa Rica. Let's read about this guy right here. Armadillos have a protective shell. Now, I have to take a minute and ask you the question, what other animal do we know about that has a protective shell? I'll give you a little bit of time to think about it. Da na 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 Da na 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 That's right, it's the turtle. The turtle also has a protective shell like the armadillo. Most are the size of a cat. Can you believe that? Some are only five inches long, but others grow to be like five feet long. Five feet tall is how tall Miss Bridget is, so armadillos can even be as big as Miss Bridget. But some are small like cats. They are non-aggressive, nocturnal creatures. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Non-aggressive means they don't fight. Nocturnal means they like to be active at night. So exciting. They burrow in the ground, that means they dig a hole in the ground or they decide to curl up into a tiny ball to protect themselves. They eat snakes. Mmm, that's good, that's good. They eat fruit, different kinds of roots, and also eggs. So when I say that they eat roots, let me help you understand what that means. How many of you knew that like an onion or a French onion grows out of the ground just like grass? Potatoes are actually considered roots. So are beets, and so are radishes. So this guy right here, Arby Armadillo, he likes to eat all of those things. Wow, he's got more of an appetite than the, the ape. Um, he's got, he likes to eat a wider range of things than the ape does, and, and then um, who's the other one? Abby Antelope, he has a little bit more variety in his diet. Well, that's a good thing. Okay, boys and girls, before I set you loose today to work in your paces, you're gonna be working in your word building pace. Remember, it's purple, pages 17 until 24. Be sure to ask mom or dad for help. Inside of that pace, you're going to find pictures of a jar and a harp and an arm, and you're gonna to need to color the pictures that have the sound we've been talking about today. So remember to ask mom or dad for help, and you have a really good day. I'll see you again soon. This is Miss Bridget signing off.